little drama yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there was a home invasion robbery across the street. Oh my god! Um, my sweet seventy-one-year-old neighbor. <gasps> wow. Uh, she uh, two guys went in. Uh, they uh, zip tied her, and Ooh. they I guess they said in the they said in the news it was pistol whipped. Yeah. What? Um, yeah. So they punched her. I guess. Why? <clears throat> they robbed her. <sighs> and the crazy part is. Um, and so we were home at the time. Uh, we were at the office, and the there were all of a sudden like police cars, helicopters, everything. And I mean, Lily was like, what she was, was she like, saying? Shane, you need to move your car. You're gonna gonna get a ticket. There's police. I was what? like, what? I'm like, oh, like, oh, parking enforcement's here. Yeah. <laughs> and um, she was like, no, there was like five police cars. <laughs> I was like, they're not gonna give me a ticket. They got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> There's something going on. It's not my little car. And so, but what's funny because instead of like getting up, we just kind of. I'm like, so is it a white car? Because that's parking enforcement. And she's like, no, it's the police. I'm like, why would the police be giving (laughs) uh, giving tickets? And then when we heard the the paramedics and the helicopters, helicopters, Mm -hmm. then we realized we probably, it wasn't just giving us tickets. No. This happened in daylight? 2.30 p.m. Wow, that's terrifying. The crazy part is, is what I don't understand. And she's a nice lady. I've talked to her several times. Maybe I've seen her with like, a little like gold Rolex on or whatever, mm-hmm. but I was wondering why they targeted them because the house is, you know, there are a lot of beautiful houses in that neighborhood, mm-hmm. and the house is kind of modest. Unassuming. It's a humble house. It's yeah, like yeah. they they buy these houses and they tear them down. And they put up these huge, you know, situations, and like it's not a new house. It's a but they do. House. So I was kind of like, why did they target them? They do have five expensive cars. Mm. So it's a couple. So she yes. has a husband. Yes. What does he do? What do they do for a living? He's an attorney. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, what does that Maybe mean? Maybe it was targeted. Well, yeah. I'm sure. What I kind mean, of attorney? You know, yeah. I, I don't know. Prosecutor? Divorce? What? Defense? Divorce. Oh, family like, law? Nah. I could use another family law attorney. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, no, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. But um, apparently the rumors are that he had some sort of expensive watch collection. Uh-oh. Okay. So my in a situation like that, because I was wondering, maybe they, maybe she was wearing some jewelry driving a nice car, they profiled her at the Beverly Center and drove home, I don't know, mm-hmm. followed her home, or maybe it was an inside job and somebody knew that this guy had a watch collection. Because you don't just, I don't think these guys just randomly pick this house. You no, know what I mean? think that they case it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that they- I think they probably yeah. knew what was in there. Right. Right, because they had a safe, I guess. And mm-hmm. I don't know if, um, they must have had her open the safe, right? And- um, Before they zip-tied her. This, these are what, this is what like- what I'm hearing from neighbors, because the cops don't say anything. Right. Mm-hmm. So the issue is, I want, so, like, our house is, like, almost, like, right across the street, mm-hmm. right? So they were going and knocking on all the doors, and they wanted to see our cameras. So I, um, first of all, I'm like, no, like, I-, I looked at our camera, and I can't see the street past the walls and the hedges and the gates. So I'm like, this is not going to do them any sort of service because they can't see the house or the street. They want to see the street and see like if, mm-hmm. how what kind they of got car. Away. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But they came to the house like three times and they said, look, we want to look, we want to look at this footage in case there's any shadows or anything like that. So I let one of the guys finally after like an hour, cause I was working, I'm busy. Mm-hmm. Oh so God. I let one of the cops in the house and I showed him, the TV monitor. And I said, look, here are the cameras. You can't see anything. And he pointed to one of the cameras because there's three cameras out front. One of them, there is an opening in the hedges on the right, but the house that was robbed is on the left. He said, look, somebody could have parked here and we would see them walk across, you know, the sidewalk or whatever. I said, well, the chances are they didn't park across the street and three doors down. And I said, here's my issue. I just want to be honest with you. Right. And this is kind of embarrassing. Mm. Oh, first of all, I forgot to tell you, I was about to go on my gay walk, right? But Monica, and I've been, having, I've been, I've been basically raped by mosquitoes every time I go on a walk. Okay. So Monica bought me mm-hmm. these little patches. Yeah, those work. But they're kid patches. So I had two little pink happy faces <laughs> on my socks, and I didn't realize it. Which she's probably thought, oh, God. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? He's, <laughs> He's one of those guys. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I didn't really realize that until after the fact. But- I said, look, um, the the because they wanted the investigator, the detective, to come in and look at the DVR. Mm-hmm. I said, I really, guys, I don't want my you know my AV cabinet is upstairs. I kind of don't want you going through it. And I said, but to be honest with you, one of these cameras faces the backyard. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. said, I don't always wear clothes back there. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my god! And like if Monroe's not home, yeah, we might go in the pool and sex it up. You jacuzzi, know what I mean? Yeah. And Thursday night. I, I don't. <laughs> sometimes I'm so drunk I don't remember what happens. Why? So I don't. <gasps> yeah. I mean, there could be nine people for all I know. <laughs> so I said I, and then I didn't mean, and I swear to God I didn't say douchey. But I said, you know, I just worry about giving the DVR to the detective, like I'm on TV or whatever. But I didn't mean it like I'm a lame so dude. It could get leaked. Like yeah. my sex tape. Oh, what if it got? Oh, my God. Like that would be like so bad. A Jeff Lewis <laughs> sex tape makes oh. the rounds. Ratings go through the ceiling. Oh, you no. should leak it. <laughs> we'll yeah. get a season two. Yeah. Hello, yeah. we're waiting for we're this. waiting for the green Pick light. Up. There you go. Come on, take leak one. It. I think it should. Leak it. Take leak it. Oh. Leak it. Take one for the team. <laughs> the streams, the Google, the podcast, yeah. the Friday shows. I mean, you'll be Honey. as popular as the Kardashians. You yes. think? Yes. That's It'll be a so great thing Kim. for all of us. <laughs> Except for the missing teeth. Yeah, oh. there's that. I have one and a half missing teeth, just so you know. Okay. But they're in the back. You can't see them. It'll be fixed by Listen, the time if, we if, get the yeah, big show on. Yeah, but if you're naked, you. they're not going to be looking at your teeth. Oh. Right. That's okay. true. Somebody's smiling. <laughs> they might. Yeah. <laughs> might be another angle. Anyway, so that's what happened. So I did not surrender the DVR. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I so don't you know. Did, so you didn't co- cooperate with the detective? I did not cooperate. Okay. Oof. Mm-hmm. I would have cooperated. And this is what I said to him. I said, look, if the opening was on the left and we had a direct, because if the hedge wasn't there, we would have had a direct view of that house. Mm. Probably seen the guys go in. But. I, it didn't have an opening on the left. It was all hedges. The opening was on the right. If the opening was on the left, I probably would have... Surrendered your footage. Yes. Yeah. But Jeff, can't you just look at the footage and you know by yourself and just see if you, you see something? Yeah. What? Jeff Lewis <laughs> investigates. Can you, can you just look at the... I'm sorry. The radar film? line is texting me right now. Uh, oh, okay. What yeah. do they want? Shout out, Radar. They want a <laughs> quote. Morning. So famous. They want a quote. They texted um, me too, but I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm working. Like, I'm so busy. <laughs> By the way, Shane was jonesing because we had CBS, Eyewitness News, all the news sure. trucks, right? And so the neighbors were fucking lined up, ready to talk. Yeah. And Shane, Shane wanted to go out. Shane, yeah. like, could you, and yeah. What would you have said? Oh, my God. Like, I'm, I'm an empath. So, like, I can tell when people are stressed out. And, like, it was, like, not a good vibe on the street. Like, there was, like, something was going down. Like, I could tell. Like, I was inside. I didn't see it, but, like, I could feel it. No. Like, there was, like, drama. There was, like, someone was, like, really upset, like, very close. You uh-huh. know? Like, it was not great. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't do the interview. Yeah. What would you have said had they asked you? I don't know. Like, I have a good sense of smell, and I, I smell danger. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We should have done that. How about I feel so bad and horrified for my beautiful, lovely neighbor who is hogtied and pistol whipped? Well, I've only met her twice. Okay. <laughs> um, I'd only met her twice, but she seems like a nice lady. She was always friendly to me. Terrible. Oh, she didn't. She elected. I guess asked. I asked the um the cops. I said, um, hey, is she going to the hospital? Because I saw the paramedics, mm-hmm. and he's like, she's elected not to go to the hospital. So then you know there are no broken bones and there's no stitches, right? Right. So she's probably just bruised, banged up a little bit, and terrified. Oh I was yeah. Gonna say. yeah. <laughs> that she's too. just suffered a traumatic experience. Can but what Doctor Donna said? Can you look at the footage, or can you look at the footage with the detective, <laughs> or even without the detective? You just look at the footage. Just go through it. Yeah. Oh, I don't see, know how to use that thing. If you see anything, sus. <laughs> I don't know how to use that thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to bother with it. Anyway, so, oh yeah, that's what happened. Okay. That's terrible. Scary. Yeah. It's very yeah. scary. Well, it's I, also kind of city living, you guys. Like, you're, like, very exposed, that office. Well, I told Dumb and Dumber, I said, look, you are not to open this gate. Mm-mm. You are not to open this door. I want everything locked every day. And I said, I don't give a fuck if UPS or Amazon, whatever, let them throw it over the gate. Who's dumb and who's dumber? I'm not going to say that. Okay. I'm just going to say. Stu no- and Stu? <laughs> we actually have. Stu and Lily? Uh-oh. We do have Dingbat 1, Dingbat 2, <laughs> Dingbat 3, Dingbat 4. Not we a have- lot of. We got like six, I, the smartest person in that house is Monroe. Let's be honest. She's probably Easy. the voice of reason. Like, Easy. I don't think you should answer the door. Yeah, no answering the door. <laughs> um, so I've told uh, all the dingbats uh, <laughs> that do not, do, from now on, door mm-hmm. gate, always locked, gate closed. We don't, we don't answer the door for any reason. Smart. Okay. okay. Especially that detective wants the DVR. <laughs> Can't have that going out there. Oh my God, it's broken. <laughs> yeah, there you <laughs> <It's> go. <crazy. laughs> 